good morning. Welcome to Thursdays this morning. Love this this morning. Thank you. Very bright, aren't I? No, 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 not too bright. I like Just to give you a little bit of sunshine. Well, you do. Every on a day. daily basis, but especially with this thing. All right, then. Don't touch me too much. <laughs> so, or at all. I do apologise. <laughs> <laughs> now, some of you may remember Captain Scott Fisher. Now, Scott joined us last month in a hope of raising £27,000 for the charity Marcel Action. Well, Scott's lovely wife, Megan, was diagnosed with a, a terrible condition called mast cell activation, activation syndrome following the birth of their daughter. So Scott pledged to run 27 marathons in 27 days, including Christmas Day, which is incredible, to raise money so that one day a cure could be found. Yeah, that's some feat. Let's take a look at what happened when uh, Scott joined Vernon and Rochelle and the pot was at £6,675. Take a look. Scott, this is a mammoth task. 27 yes. marathons in 27 days. Give us a story behind your motivation to doing this. Imagine mast cell activation syndrome, like being allergic to everything, from that really low level sort of thing, all the way up to neurological conditions, which is what's happened to my wife. The aim has been to raise £27,000. This morning, have uh, we are about to put £1,000 on your Just Giving page. I wasn't expecting that. Oh. Um, I'm going and I'm, I'm I know obviously, he's obviously not allowed to cry on TV. Well, well, we are. We have some incredible news. Look at that, £52,306. <laughs> We're almost at 80000 just over £80,000. Yeah. <laughs> 80857 pounds. pounds. But he's running, does he have any idea? £139,858. Oh, Get in there. My. What incredible news. That's amazing. It makes those sleepless nights in hospital and going to work, the being the mum, the dad and the carer, it makes it all worth it. It's just blown my mind. It, look at what the power of the people can do and, and hopefully it keeps going. Well, today marks Scott's last marathon, which is just incredible. It's shortly about to, he's shortly about to complete the marathon. Yeah, yeah. And we've got the pleasure of joining him and his wife, Megan, who he's been pushing for the last two kilometres as he crosses the finishing line. This is absolutely <laughs> incredible. He's almost there at the finishing line. Ready? There he almost is. There, Scott. Molly Rose is there with you as well, little baba. <laughs> there it is. The there he is. He's done it. 27 <laughs> marathons. In 27, in 27 days. 27 days. Incredible. Scott, oh. well done. How are you feeling right about now? How are your cars feeling? Um, a little bit tight, Dermot, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> well, let's, let's get you, have, let's make you get your breath back because you've been running all day. And let's talk to Megan because we didn't have the pleasure of talking to Megan before. Uh, morning, Megan. It's so lovely morning, to Megan. see you. You was in hospital morning. before. Can you just tell us how are you feeling now? Uh, I'm OK. Certainly better than I was feeling a few weeks ago. I'm just super proud of what's happened today. <laughs> yeah, Megan, the I, I guess the last 27 days must have been extraordinary for you as well. I mean, seeing Scott going through what he's going through, uh, you know, these marathons every single day, I mean, you must be immensely proud. Oh, I am, definitely. Like, I've spent more time with him in the last 27 days than I think over the whole relationship and marriage. <laughs> It's unbelievable. <laughs> and what's the reaction been like since you were last on this morning? Because it was just incredible, wasn't it, Scott? Yeah, to be honest with you, Alison, like, the, my life has gone absolutely crazy. And, you know, a, a lot of people look for fame and want fame. And I don't think I'm famous by any stretch. But by gosh, I, I take my hat off to you people who are constantly in the limelight because even a couple of thousand people wanting to know me has been has been fairly taxing, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> oh, well, you are really famous now and you've done so well. You've raised so much money. What are you hoping to raise now? I've got no mic. Um, Have you lost so, our... Has he lost his sound? Uh, Can you hear oh, me? I've got, I've got you back now, don't oh, worry. Oh, great. <laughs> yeah, sorry we're, about that. That's all right. We were just um, asking how much you're so hoping to raise today. So, so originally we had a, a, a target of 27,000 and, you know, we absolutely eclipsed that. And a massive thank you to R Rochelle and Vernon because they were really the catalyst for this. And, you know, they really got behind it and, and everyone at ITV. Um, and I had a, after that had happened, I spoke to the charity and we set a new, a new target of 270,000. And 
to be honest with you, it made me really uncomfortable to change the target because that's yeah. not the type of person I am. Um, but I, I had a look at their, their accounts on the sly and they don't know that. And, you know, I've, I've earned, or sorry, not earned, I've raised, you know, over a thousand percent of what they earn in a year. And, and Christmas Day alone, I earned 50 percent for them of, of what they usually make in a year. So, I mean, if there's hopefully there's so, still some skeptics out there who uh, who are holding the money back and <laughs> they, they, they're still going to find me on just giving today and maybe donate five or ten pounds still. I was say, Scott, so and, where and try are and you? Get me up to sort of the two seventy thousand. Where are you right now, and how how far off the the two seventy are you? So I, I think this morning we're about one nine four. Yeah. So you know, I mean, that that in itself is massive and. You know, if, if no more donations come in, I'd be absolutely over the moon with what I've done. So anything you, else from now is just a huge bonus, really. Yeah. You've absolutely smashed it. And obviously all that money is going to go to research to find this cure. I can't believe you ran on Christmas Day. How was that for you? <laughs> so Christmas Day started actually on Christmas Eve. <laughs> um, so I, I did a bit of a double marathon on Christmas Eve and um, I started around... It was, just after six o'clock, I think, and I finished about half one in the morning on Christmas morning, which then meant that I could get back for presents and <laughs> be on, oh. on a, a different TV show and all that, that good stuff. You're amazing. And Megan, um, for people that didn't see Scott embark on this um, and, and don't know too much about it, can you explain to us what mast cell activation syndrome is and how it manifests itself on, on your life on a day-to-day -day basis? Yeah, obviously after the birth of Molly, um, things dramatically changed. I started having gastro symptoms, neurologic, just whole system. Uh, for me, it is systemic, whereas some other people have uh, uh, quite mild symptoms, whereas some people even have more severe symptoms than me. Um, but I develop seizures out of it from my body just having so much pressure and stress um, over the last year. And, you know, for me, I have went from eating the world, whatever I wanted, to managing bread currently. That's all I can eat. <laughs> so it's, it's massive life changing. Um, and unfortunately, well, fortunately, um, I'm going to be hopefully getting uh, quite a revolutionary, life-changing medication in the next month or so. Oh, fingers crossed um, for that. Which may help me to calm down and <laughs> have somewhat of a normal life. Oh, what a beautiful <laughs> family you've got. You've got little Molly Rose there who's just stunning. And your husband, who's done this, is just so incredible. He honestly is inspirational. I know you're going to smash your target. You really both are. And well done. Yeah, congratulations <laughs> to How can all people of you. donate? So um, it, I think the easiest way is if you type in Scott Fisher 15 on Just Giving, that, that brings up a direct link. Or, you know, if you go on to Mass Selection's homepage, they, they've got a link there as well. Um, or you can just, you can find me on Instagram or uh, Marathons for Mass Cell and there's a whole host of links, links all over there. Um, you know, but I mean, money's, money's not just the key thing really here. Um, I don't, what I don't want is this just to be a, a feather in the wind and, and me do this one thing and then everyone with mast cell doesn't get any help. And, you know, I think the next thing for me really is, is getting somebody who can really drive change um, involved, you know, somebody like the health secretary or national director from the yeah. NHS and get them linked in with a charity. And, and, and hopefully we can then look at mutually supporting each other as well. And we can hopefully take some of the burden off the NHS who are doing a great job at the moment with the pandemic. And, maybe remove some of those those vulnerable people from that fight. Yeah, good for you guys to look at the big picture as well. Scott, um, get your feet in some ice. Yeah, and best of listen, we've just heard it's gone up two grand <laughs> since we just started, so fingers crossed by the end of the broadcast and by the end of the day today, you'll get your target and, and best of luck with everything. What a team you've got there. We've got Megan, we've got Scott, we've got Molly Rose on ribbon duty. Oh. It's all going to be fine. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for letting us share that last <laughs> moment with you. Thank you so much. That's absolutely not a problem. It's been, a, it's honestly, it's been an utter pleasure and just, you know, a huge thank you to all the people out there who have donated and have got behind this, you know. Y you've all made a massive difference to a lot of very, very ill people. So, so thank you very much. And 
you know, you've certainly helped me and my wife out who, who's got some great oh. news recently about treatment. So, so a big thank, thank you. Thank you, Scott. Well done, Scott. Massive round of applause for us, Scott. Well done, Scott. We applaud you. Oh, thank that's incredible. Cheers, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Have a lovely day. Oh, how incredible is that? Well, now you're crying. Oh, don't. You got me. That's great. Thank you to everyone who donated as well. It's unbelievable. Well, listen, we've got a pat show for you, so let's get started. Will, Christmas always leaves our bank balance looking a little bit glum. Uh, so we've sent Josie out to spread some January cheer. It's our very first dosh on your doorstep. It's one of the year, of course. It is. Yeah. Josie, how are you? Good morning, Alison. Good morning, Dermot. Yes, I am out and about to make people cross, but not in an angry way, in a Josie Gibson's <laughs> Pop lady kind of way, ready to knock on someone's doorstep to give them the opportunity to win £1,000. Now, it's very early in the day to tell you where I am. I'm in a oh. top secret location, but the big question is, do you recognise this railing? Because if you do, I could be knocking on your door with the opportunity to win £1,000. Oh, do you know what? I, I think a lot suits. of people, yeah, a lot of people will recognise that. You can see buildings and everything there. You might be able to recognise your oh, road. Oh, is no. Josie near you? Oh, it could be you. It's more of a giveaway than normal. Told the cameraman to keep it tight. Yeah, it's a lot of information. Like she's, normally she's just like hidden behind a bush or something. I know. Oh, no. Thanks, oh, Josie. Well, Josie. Oh, no. uh, the January sale is perfect time for the old wardrobe refresh. Cat is back with stylish staples to instantly update the wardrobe. Morning, Cat. Good morning. Well, it's that time of year again when we are all stuck in a fashion rut. But fear not, we have five fashion fail-safe formulas to brighten up the coldest and darkest of January days. Thank you. You're looking very, very French today. I love you. I would say that. I love French. you. Do you like that? Oh, that I love that. what you're looking that. for? Yes, that is. Ten. See, I'm in there. Uh, uh, also, it's an Italian winter classic. We're all in need of. Uh, Michaela McKiappa is here. What are you making for us? Morning, we are today going to do a um, mushroom risotto, but Ooh. with the little um, secret ingredient, the porcini mushrooms, which um, I think are the kind of the power behind it. Is this a vegan recipe? Do you know what? Um, a lot of people are doing detox, vegan, um, mushrooms. We've always used them in Italian cooking, but they've got a meaty texture, so they are a brilliant kind of substitute for people that want yeah. meat-free. I've decided to go vegan. Twice a week. <laughs> this is great. <laughs> Thank you. Thumbs up. Today, today, let me assure you, isn't one of those days. <laughs> Nobody is. The bacon this morning begs to differ. Who didn't need to say that? <laughs> <laughs> also on today's show, we are heading to the beautiful grounds of Blenheim Palace with Toph and her puppy Monty as they take uh, one, uh, one of her mm. favourite winter walks at 10 past 11. And with energy bills set to soar, Martin Lewis will be taking your calls to see how he can help you in about 10... Well, it's about 10.55. And he's a man on a mission to help bring positivity to 2022. Paul McKenna will be sharing his mind detoxing tips at quarter to 12. Now, if you're already struggling with the New Year's resolutions, your New Year's resolution, are you struggling? Did you have any? I just haven't worked them out yet. All oh, right, OK. <laughs> well, apparently, uh, Michelle Keegan yeah. has admitted that she's already there we go. Um, Off the killed dry January. She lasted four days of dry January. You can't go on holiday and then expect to do dry January. No, it's impossible. But anyway, she tweeted and she's enjoying her January. Of course she is. She's living yeah, the best life. Uh, so, yeah. So whether you're craving uh, chocolate or crisps or desperate to get fit, do some exercise, or like Michelle struggling to stay on the wagon this January, Vanessa, Alison and I, what will Ooh. we think of doing this? Want to help see if we can motivate you to carry on. Are we like agony aunties? Uh, kind oh of. Oh, my God, I'm all over this. <laughs> Dear God, help Well, me listen, <laughs> give us a call, uh, 08,000 30 40 44, or download our free This Morning app to get involved. Please do it by 11.15 and you've got to be 18 or over. Yeah, we can't give you any advice if you're under 18. That is it. Exactly.